lacking, nothing missing. I have an overflow of provision. There is provision in the presence of God. Apart from his presence, there's lack. See, you think, watch this, Ms. Tanya, you think that you need more provision. <laughs> but what we really need, Nisha, is more presence. The more of his presence that you and I have, the more provision that you and I will have, and the more health and healing that you and I will have. If we, if we will only put more emphasis on his presence than we do the provision, we wouldn't have any need at all. Because all we need, this is why Jesus told Abraham, he said, Abraham, I want you to know that I'm going to be your great and exceedingly reward. Listen, I'm going to be, don't you worry about anything else. Don't you worry about how people are going to get fed. Don't you worry about how your sons are going to, it doesn't matter. Here's all you need. I'm going to be your exceedingly and great reward. All you need is my presence. That's why Moses said that, Lord, I'm not going anywhere unless you your presence goes with me. You hear what I'm saying? Because I don't want to end up somewhere where you're not going to be. And the church today has gotten, gotten beside themselves to the point to where they don't care about having anything and inviting anybody to do stuff in their church and even in their lives. Listen, they don't even care as long as they can bring people, as long as they can bring money, if, as long as they can bring popularity. They say, forget about the presence. All this self-help stuff. You can't help yourself. Jesus said, if you have the ability to help yourself, then him coming was in vain. You don't have the power to help yourself. All the help you need is found in the dwelling place, the presence of God. He has made a promise that as you, because you are his dwelling place and his resting place, that you are about to overflow with an abundance of provision because he will not allow you to lack any good thing because you woke up rightly before him. You are the place of blessing. That wherever you go, I'll bless you. And whoever blesses you, I will bless them. And whoever curses you, I will curse them. You and I are a seed of Abraham. We have blessings all over our lives. I come that you might have life. And that you might have it more abundantly. Overflowing life. Lord, give me greater portion 